All right, I'm going to press you on the one major seemingly uh, wide-held narrative about McCarthy is the play calling is just dreadful. Mm -hmm. I mean, the play calling's dreadful, like on a fourth and inches that they go for a dive, <laughs> that they uh, aren't scheming anybody open, that it's just like, go get open, mm -hmm. and Aaron will just run for his life long enough and make some gorgeous <laughs> throw that you don't see coming because it's against the grain of his body, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Is that a fair assessment then in your this, mind? This all happens when you're losing. When you're losing, you got to find something to put your finger on. I remember, I mean, the well, season. You wouldn't, well, the idea the is season, that you wouldn't be losing if the scheme was better. The season we were 15 and one, we were blowing people out. We would just line up and we would just play and we would make plays. We lost one game in, in Kansas City. They beat us up, just hit us in the mouth. And everybody's saying, oh, Coach McCarthy's offense, he didn't move people around. It's the same offense we've been running. You know, I, I talk to Devontae Adams Adams a lot. He's like, listen, it's not the offense. It's us not making plays. Like, we turn on the film on Monday and we watch these games. It's not scheme-wise. Like, people are open. It's holes that the running back could, back could hit and make some plays. Like, it's, it's not that. You know what I'm saying? We're just not making plays. And even me being in Coach Mike's system for eight years – it's a very good system, especially for a quarterback and a wide receiver. That's why Aaron, I mean, even though Aaron's great, but he's putting up special numbers in Coach Mike's system. Like, it's a very good system to be in. But right now, they're just not making plays, and that's all it comes down to. So then the final uh, button on this subject is to Brian Gutekunst and Mark Murphy, you would say what when they have a decision to make? Seemingly, because you know that Packer fans, many of yes. them would like to see a change in the head coach. You I say, would say Don't the do grass it. is not always greener on the other side. And I would I would stick with Coach Mike. I'm looking at our young defense play. They're playing lights out right now. They're playing some ball. Aaron Rodgers and them on the offense are not playing good football right now. They need to score points. They, they at least should be scoring 30 points every now and then, and they're not. They're 14 points, 17 points. That's not, that's not going to get the job done. I would keep Coach Mike um, – Change, change is not always good. I mean, you got a very young team, very young offense. You bring in a new offensive coordinator. These rookies and young guys got to learn another offense with Aaron Rodgers, new signals with Aaron Rodgers. It's kind of like you're starting all over. I, I would keep Mike. Mike has a good thing going over there. And even schedule-wise, like the schedule Coach Mike has for the Green Bay Packers right now is lovely. A lot of rest, a lot of recovery. It's, it's a very – player friendly schedule you get a guy come in there like a John Gruden like I, like I talked to Jordy that's hard knows you out there at practice you guys might not respond to that you know so what do you, I mean, what do you mean about what Jordy's telling you what just you like you know coach Gruden's practices is real hard grimy practices you know what I'm saying you're coming out there you're in pads you're hitting each other you know it's it's hard you know with coach Mike no pads on you know recover get your body back right you know what I mean and it's not like that everywhere so you bring that in and yeah sometimes culture change is good but when you've been used to something for hmm. so long and you get changed you might not respond to it like that I like coach Mike coach Mike has done some great things in Green Bay and I hope we keep so we're having not won a, 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 um, a game on the road yet this year, and word is this week is that McCarthy frequently mm -hmm. lowers the number of stars associated to a hotel establishment <laughs> with each passing road loss. Are they in tents now? Are they in a lean-to right now when they, they're going they, on the road? They might be in a Motel 5 right now. Will Blackman <laughs> tweeted out, said Motel that – <laughs> He tweeted out yeah. in 08 when you guys lost yeah. four straight road games. He made sure each hotel got worse. If you want to stay in a nice hotel, he said, quote, win a damn game. Absolutely. And Will is 100 percent correct, man. We were we were staying at the Holiday Inn Expresses, the Motel Fives. And at the time, as players were thinking like, OK, you know, it could be some stuff going on. You know what I mean? Maybe it might be an NBA game or it could be a concert. Oh, it, it was yeah. availability. Yeah, it was based yeah, on yeah. availability. So like stuff might just be going on. We used to stay in, you know, the Ritz Carlton and these five star hotels. <laughs> something, something could be going on. And then it kept happening. And we like, what, what, what's going on, man? We ain't got no room service. You know, <laughs> we ain't got nothing over here. And he say, hey, win a game. You know what I'm saying? And things will change. Is he doing that right now? 
I no, I don't think he's doing that right now. He might need to though, because we woke up, we said, look, we ain't trying to get no bed bugs and all that. We we woke up and started playing some football. He might need to put him in the Motel Five. Yeah, I mean their next road game. Let's see, their next road game for Green Bay is uh, going to be at Chicago. Oh, we. I mean, there, there won't be any availability problems in the city of Chicago. Some no. great establishments there. Yeah, put him in the Motel Five in Chicago. It'll be cold out there. And then, too. and then at New York, <laughs> in New York, yeah. they'll just keep. Yeah. So if they win that Chicago game, then you treat them in New York. You put, put well, them. Know they're in trouble if for the Jet game if they're staying in Pennsylvania. They'll know that, that they're in deep trouble at that point in time. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.